Hello everybody, I am Dr. Rachna Dubey, I am a consultant gynecologist. Uh, I will be talking about an important issue which is faced normally by my patients that what is the safe period of the month where I can have sexual intercourse and at the same time do not become pregnant. So how to calculate the safe period is if you are using a calendar method, everyone should know that ovulation normally occurs from the 12th to the 16th day prior to the onset of your next menstrual cycle. So how do we calculate this fertile period? Fertile period is a period when fertilization will occur if you have a sexual intercourse and you can have a baby. The cycles normally in women are not absolutely regular that they will not occur after every 28 days. They may vary from 26 days and the longest cycle may be up to 32-35 days also. So there is a very simple way of calculating your fertile period. That is the shortest cycle which you have suppose uh, is 26-27 days. So we subtract 18 days from the shortest cycle and we will get the first day of your fertile period. And then we subtract 10 days from the longest cycle and then we will get the last day of the fertile period. For example, I will give you uh, if a woman's menstrual cycle varies from 26 to 31 days, the fertile period during which she should not have intercourse would be from the shortest cycle that is if a cycle is of 26 days we subtract 18 days and we get 8th day and by subtracting 10 days from the longest cycle that is if a cycles are of 31, 32 days we subtract 10 days 31 minus 10 we get 21st day. So basically 8th day to the 21st day of the menstrual cycle counting day 1 as the first day of your menstrual cycle are your fertile period. If calculations are not possible then it is advisable that you avoid intercourse from 8th to the 22nd day counting the first day of the bleeding as day 1. There are certain disadvantages of this method. If cycle is not regular it is very difficult to predict the safe period. Educated and highly motivated Cooperative and responsible couples should follow this method. Half a month abstinence from intercourse because I am saying from 8th day to 22nd day. So basically it is a very long period of the month. It is not applicable during the post delivery period because in the post delivery period you do not have your cycles. You do not have periods. So when ovulation is occur you do not know. Uh, the failure rates of this natural method is calendar method is 9 per 100 women. Suppose 100 women are practicing this method. So 9 would become pregnant. There are certain medical complications like ectopic pregnancy and embryonic abnormalities which may occur in the fetus. But uh, very educated people with regular cycles and committed couples can follow this method. Thank you.